Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we have an awesome box today from... Latvia. Which is a second for us, isn't this it? This is our second box from Latvia. The first one, apparently, was really enjoyed by people in Latvia. Yes, someone actually messaged to say, we've gone a bit viral over there. Yeah, which viral in Latvia. I think we even got into like an, like like an article, a newspaper, didn't we? Yeah. So, hey, we're in the news. Mum and Dad, are you proud of us now? Still no. <laughs> <laughs> but this box looks super exciting. Yeah, and as really always, cool. shall we start with the letter? Yes. And I think this has to be one of the um, like highest quality letters I've ever received. Really? It's, got, it's such a nice envelope and it's got like a sheen. I don't know if That's you can see price. that. That's high price. Oh yeah, that's nice. And I think it's from it's that like same brand that Conqueror. we do. We get. Yeah, the fancy stuff. Okay, so hey, Alex and Kate. I have been a fan of your series for quite a while. All of your videos are so enjoyable. They're always putting a huge smile on my face. I love learning languages and different cultures and your channel has helped me a lot. Also, I adore British people and England in general. You have such a beautiful country. Oh, thank you so much. One day, me and my family started a discussion about our favorite snacks from Latvia and it resulted in this box. I know you have already tried some of our stuff, but as you can see, that didn't stop me. Mm -hmm. We picked up some of the unusual, weird, and our love snacks and sweets. Hopefully you will get to this box and enjoy some more Latvian food. Lots, Lots of, of love, love Paulina. Paulina. Yeah, Paulina. Paulina, Paulina. I'd say. Our neighbor is Paulina, Paulina, but this is- Or Paulina. Paulina. Yeah, so this looks really awesome. So, uh, looks like she started us off savory. So should we go down the line? Yeah. Do you want to read love, what we've got first? She's written the great stuff. The great stuff. Made in the... Uh, Latvia. Latvia. <laughs> I love how you've passed it over to me as soon as there's a word you can't read. No, that's not why. Adazu. <laughs> okay, fine. Number one, Adazu, Chris. Tomato, basil, mozzarella. Ooh. Sounds like a delicious combination. She says, I'm sure that you already know this company from the previous video, but this is a completely new flavor. This company is blessing us with delicious crisps for almost 25 years already. Amazing. I love that this woman is surfing on a on crisp. On a chip, yeah. That's so cool. And Did she say chip or crisp? She says crisps. That is awesome. But for some reason, a singular, I feel like it's a chip. No, I've no, gone American. Not. You've gone American. Sack me off. He's gone American. Sack me off already. This is America. We had a really this nice- This is America. <laughs> Yeah, we had a really nice set of crisps from Italy, didn't we? That were like tomato. Oh, they're and one of your favorites. Flavored, aren't they? yeah. So I wonder if this is going to be similar. That's one of my favorite songs, actually. Well, this is America. This is America. So when he really? breaks it down, yeah. This is America. It's a good song. I I love how colourful the um the bag is. Mm. I think you're going to like those a lot. They've got mm. that fresh flavour. It's the seasoning, it's the basil that really... Mm. Basil, it. it is the basil, mm. isn't it? Like the tomato, but the basil brings that out. Mm. And because they're crinkle cut, nice texture. Mm. They're delicious. What are you giving that? Do I need to ask? 10 out of 10. Mm. Delicious. Oh, this is interesting. Papucci with oregano, or if you're American, oregano, oregano. and garlic. Roasted flavoured beans. These are produced by a very small company. The company is trying to change common beliefs about snacking and papuchi is claimed to be very healthy. This is poopas. <laughs> Have you done a poopas before this video? <laughs> no? That's cool. Maybe they look dried, so maybe they're gonna be I a thought bit like they a were, nut. Um, Did you not think they looked like- um, Mushrooms. Like pumpkin seeds or something? Yeah. Oh, they're cool. They're like little um, crackers. I've never seen anything like you this You want to do a little hand? Oh my word, they're so they're like so cool. squashed beans. Does it say which bean? There's like loads of fla flavors. Mm. So it's like, first of oh, all you- Oh, broad beans. Broad beans. So first off, you've got like the crunch and the oregano and that, mm. but then you start tasting the bean, but then doesn't it get your mouth really dry? Dry, yeah. So would this be a good beer snack? Yeah, mm. I really like that. So interesting. I reckon they have a few other flavors. Mm. Got some crunch, really nice garlicky oregano flavor. You are turning American. Well, yeah. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. They're like so those. drying though. They're, yeah. <laughs> like, Definitely oh. need a drink with them. Mm. They do look it's nice and fancy. Oh my word. They're so small batch that it's handwritten. When they were made. When they were made and when it runs out of date. That's cool. 
That's amazing. That's very cool. So thank you very much for including these because I feel like you'd only have these if you go there. Yeah. That is so cool. So the next thing up is smoked crunchy cheese and it's called harum harum. Would you say that? Harum harum. Harum harum. harum, harum. These are handmade by, again, a very small company. My dad loves them with a beer. So Ooh. are these like pretzels or are they literally cheese? Oh my word. These look insane. I'm loving all the the packaging for the small company ones. Yeah. Like Paulina said in her letter, what's cool is in the first box, we probably tried things that were more traditional. Yeah. More kind of generic. Just Whereas these, these all do so far seem like smaller companies and a yeah. completely different side to Latvia, don't you think? Yeah, it's really nice to see this side. But that's the thing, when when you try stuff from a country, you really do have like the mainstream, like yeah. like the Lays and the Walkers, yeah. but then you've got the other. The stuff that makes it into every supermarket. Yeah. But then you might have the things that the locals just really like, but you can't necessarily <gasps> get in a that supermarket. Big one. Yes. What is this? Is this like blown up cheese? Ooh. Oh, oh it was no a way. Gouda. It's a stronger cheese. Mm. That is Whoa. so good. It's literally cheese. It's puffed cheese. Mm. They've like. So what's that mean? They've got little bits of cheese and deep fried them. Do you think? I don't know because you know when you heat cheese and it bubbles, mm. it almost tastes like. The flavour on these is amazing. And that's why I think it's deep fried or something or shallow fried. It's smoked crunchy cheese. Oh, smoked. Yeah, mm. you can taste that. You can taste that. It's smoked. Mm. Wow, that is so interesting. That's a great flavour. No, right. I thought they were little pretzels. Oh, look at the size of this one. Wow. That's it's... perfect for beer. A little cheesy snack with beer. That is one of the most like different things mm. I've ever tasted. Who'd have thought about That's that? That's not something I've ever experienced before. That was amazing. Really good. What did I say? Smoked what? Cheese. Crunchy cheese. Mm. They didn't tell us how they did it though. In a few days, obviously that was when she sent this, we will have a summer solace, also known as Janni celebration, which is a big day for all of us in Latvia. Annually, a festival near the river is being held and everyone wears a wreath. Hmm. The snack is a limited edition, I think it's this, specially made for this celebration. Apparently it should be a crunchy thing made from white chocolate, cheese and cumin. Weird, right? Interesting smell. So this is white chocolate, cumin and, and cheese. cheese. How is it? Oh, it's crunchy. It's got a crunchy bit in the middle. Oh, wow. You really say weird, of cumin. and it sounds weird, well, but it really actually, works. those really work together. It's funny, the cumin gives it like a really fresh, it's mm. almost minty flavor, doesn't it? I think you need it to be white chocolate. Mm. Mm. Oh my God, that that's so interesting. That is really delicious. That's really good, isn't it? That was so interesting. <laughs> you didn't even manage to get it. <laughs> I really like that a lot. Mm. Really like that a lot. The I think that's my favorite thing so far, sorry. What about you? I'd say the, the crisps. Crisps are, yeah. <laughs> crisps are quite often my favorite thing. Next up, we've got almond and butter glamour with cranberries. These biscuits are made by Karumu Fabrica, which is only 27 years old. I love sourness from the cranberries and the buttery taste. They are spot on with a cup of tea. They feel really soft. Look, Very so nice. you've got the packet up this way, yeah. but then you've also got the packet up that way. It's like that American Glamour style. almond cookies. Really nice. They look, they look really, really good, good, don't they? Look fancy. Really thin packet though, isn't it? Yeah. I think because they've probably got so much in mm. it. I wonder if they're, they're almost going to be more like a flapjack. I think so. They um, feel, feel soft. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. They look nice, don't they? So they do look like a flapjack slash like granola -y bar. Mm. Like a um, Bakewell tarty yeah. thing. Yeah. Slice, Bakewell slice. Like almond. This is really nice. This is like you said, it's like a- um, It's like a, like a take on a Bakewell. A Bakewell slice or something. Mmm. I feel like I've had something a bit like that. Oh, look at this. Oh my word. Was that in there? Yeah. That's amazing. That's cool. A mini like postcard. A little postcard. Card, not code. That is so nice. I've never seen such a small postcard. Mm. How did... I wonder if people don't even realise that's in there. That's really nice. I like that it's cranberries. 
I thought it was going to be cherries because it's almond. Mm. I wonder if making a Bakewell tart with um, cranberries, would be really I would nice. prefer. Yeah. That was really Which nice. Which will get a little bit of that almondy flavor, but yeah, not too much. Yeah, not too, too overpowered. They are so good. Yeah, I thought you'd like them. But it's really fresh and kind of gooey mm. and chewy, isn't it? Handmade. Really There's like lots that. of like handmade stuff here, isn't mm. it? Which I like. That's probably topped, topped those white chocolate things. That might even have topped the crust. The crust, yeah. Definitely. Candied black currant coated in Venezuela milk chocolate. These are made naturally by Ram Calni. Cal the company works in food industry since 2014. A lot of this is new. Yeah. Like when when you look at that, you'd think that'd be around for ages. She said 27 years, did she? 27. They are making divine ice cream, cakes, dried fruits, and marshmallows, etc. This is my favorite snack when it's cold outside and it's freezing in Latvia 70% of the time. And we thought wow. it was cold here. Yeah. These remind me a bit of the Brookside's. Yep. But these are gonna be really nice. So the reason a lot of these companies are quite young yeah. is probably because Latvia has only had its independence for just over a hundred years. That'll be like 103 now 102 almost. Two years, isn't it? 18, 19, 18, 20, yeah. yeah, I was thinking it was only one. So they were ruled by other countries. So it probably took them a bit of time to get their own thing going. Yeah. And now it's really cool to see these- And also for a brand to actually survive as well. Yeah. So these companies are like coming out, making products. And also some of those, say German products would have still been alive and kicking yeah. in Latvia, but it's cool to see they've got yeah. their own. Want some chocolates, little boy? Yes, please. These look like um, raisins, mm. chocolate raisins. Chocolate raisins. Mmm. Are they blackberries? Blueberries? Uh, blueberries. No, black currant. Mmm. Oh, that's nice because it's really tart. So, this quite is tart. what's in your Ribena. Oh! Really tart and earthy. That's like a TikTok, and then it's going to roll down there and you're going to yeah. catch in your mouth. It took me a while to get that actual mm. black currant flavour because you've got like the, the chocolate and then almost got that skin bit first. Mm. It's kind of earthy. And then you can almost like enjoy the mm. flavour after you finish. The I rich tartness get the stuff of through the your teeth. This has mm. been a great selection this so far. This is a real good selection. It's really different from what we tried before. It feels really posh, this selection, don't you think? Feels quite upmarket. This is rhubarb pastels. These are made by the same company from Latvian rhubarb. The pastels don't have artificial flavors. They are crunchy, but also melt in your mouth. Everything we've got looks so fancy and yeah. lovely. Like, and that stamp of yeah, gold cool, with these it? on. That looks awesome. You can do the honors. No, you do the honors. I bet this all costs a lot. So thank you very much, Paulina. Get a lot of I it. love rhubarb. Mmm. Almost like little rhubarb meringues, mm. aren't they? Yeah, because she's called it like pastel, but mm. we'd call that like a meringue. Mm. Mm. That's really nice, isn't it? You want to have a look? Mmm. Yeah. It does melt anymore. Raku Darbiz Darbs. Lovely flavour. They're so light and mm. crunchy, aren't they? That's really nice. And you can tell it's like natural flavour. Mm. That is really good. Imagine making a cake and putting that on top or like a oh, meringue so and then good, to it? just topping it with mini. If you had like a, a rhubarb kind of jam or something yeah. through it, that'd be really nice. Mm. So delicious. Next up. Biscuits by Granny Aceti, I think. All of my family loves these biscuits, including me, of course. Soft but crunchy biscuit, good. <laughs> Condensed milk, good. What's not to like? Nowadays, a CT grandson is continuing the tradition. That's, That's awesome. Cool. These biscuits are completely handmade. Amazing. I'm loving how handmade everything is. And look, there's photos on the side. I love that they've included that and kept, they probably kept the packaging kind of the same. Very cool. Oh, I just opened in there. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, is that like the condensed milk in the middle? Yeah. Really nice, crumbly, crunchy biscuit. Mmm. Lovely flavour. That bit in the middle is lovely. Mmm. Mm. No wonder you all like these. And just a little bit of sweetness on the condensed mm. milk. They're so good. Really good. The condensed milk is like chewy. Did she say it's that? It's so good, isn't it? It adds like a chewy mm. caramelliness in the mm. middle. That's really nice. I think they've gone top. No, my fave is still those um, cranberry biscuits. When things like this, it's hard to score them out of 10 mm. because everything is just so delicious and, and so different. different. Next up is toffee covered with Belgian dark chocolate. 
Oh my word, toffee covered in Belgian. This is Scarabu Saldumi. I feel like I've seen that brand before, Scarabu. Scarabu Saldumi is one of my favorite candy factories in Latvia. These kinds of candies are so good when they are fresh and the toffee is gooey. My dad loves these, but honestly, he loves all kinds of sweets. <laughs> it's a bit like yeah, us. Yeah, that's it. It sounds like he likes everything. <laughs> I've got tomato soup on mine, please. Oh, mm. oh my god, that's amazing. I'm that gonna have to toffee more. in this the middle. This is number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just kind of wish it was milk Belgian chocolate. No. Um, that is really delicious. So delicious. Mmm. That is divine. That's so rich and lovely, isn't mm. it? Or it's almost like a little bit sugary in the mm, middle. I like that a lot. So nice. Yeah, top top of the pile now that is. Top of the pops. Then we've got Mad Max. It's actually Mad called milk. Mad Milk. <laughs> well, that's a film, isn't it? Yeah. Mad Milk chocolate with salted peanuts. I know that you are already familiar with our famous confectory, Lam Laima. Yeah, this translates. Look, can you see that brand? Yeah. We've seen that, haven't we? Its translation is happiness. I saw that you have tried our traditional chocolate bars, but this is new collection of interesting chocolates. Of course, it's nothing like your chocolate, which I've tried when I was in London and it was amazing. I, I really like the, the branding. branding though. Yeah. That kind of square, very plain. That square around the mad milk chocolate and then the white packet that, if you can see, it's like matte, mm. but it's got shimmer here yeah. and on the black and the writing. Can That's you see? That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to open? That looks awesome. And then we've got some like pick mixy things left. Oh, lots of peanuts. Loads of peanuts in there. Mmm. Mmm, salt is salty. Mm. Well, I think the peanuts are the salty mm. bit. The chocolate isn't so much, but yeah, when you so bite, they join together. It gets really nice, doesn't it? We've had conversations before about monkey nut being mm. actually just peanuts. I've never actually seen a photo of them. Really? together. Oh wow, that's delicious. That's really good. I that really reminds like me days. of when we go to Lanzarote, there's this old man's bar we go to, me and dad anyway, when we f <laughs> we're on our bikes. Oh yeah. And when we stop for a beer, the guy always recognizes us and gives us monkey nuts. Really? And they've got like a really salty outer. That reminds me of that mixed with chocolate. Is that the good old memories. man's bar where I pulled up in the Jeep? Yeah. And everyone was like, whoa, who's this girl? <laughs> there I am. I was like in a dress yeah. or something, rolling up in this massive black yeah. Jeep. And I think they were a bit like, they <laughs> pretended that I was going to run them over. They're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then I got out and they were like, mm. <laughs> well, it's you. That was delicious. Really and I delicious. think that is almost one of the tops of this box as yeah. well. Yeah. I think it goes I think level that with is the 10 toffee. out of 10. The toffee's 10 out of 10. So oh. is the. Uh, the Maybe those cranberry. two bars need to be over 10 and yeah, everything else 11. is 10. Pure chocolate truffles, these little things here. Oh, oh my gosh. Golly gosh. These are my absolute favorites. They are so good and creamy. No more words needed. <laughs> 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 like that, Paulina. And they're from Pure. Open this one I think that's why crushed. I think that's why she only sent us two rather than the whole box. Yeah, she's she, eating the yeah. rest of the box. <laughs> Do you know what flavour that no, is? No, what is it? Speculous. What? That's a speculous oh chocolate truffle. Oh my truffles. word. Let's close this one and enjoy it later. <laughs> Much too good for children. Much too good for children. <laughs> Go on, do the action as well. Much too good for children. <laughs> Much too good for children. That's insane. Mm, that's it's so funny good. because speculoos actually really makes your mouth dry. Yeah. So it goes really well. It's almost with, like peanut butter, isn't it? Mm, it has that same drying. So it mm. goes really well with ice water or a cup of tea would be amazing with that. Cup of tea. I'm going to put that in there. Wow. What else we got? I'm I'm hopeful for these last ones. We've got Sauda Roulette. We got two. So we I'll got Sweet them. Roll. These are really nostalgic because they remind me and my family of once popular dessert called potato. <laughs> they had a once popular Could you dessert imagine? called She's potato. on Google <laughs> Translate and that's how it's come out as no she. It was a soft chocolate ball with biscuits inside. They are not my favorite, but me and my dad enjoy them quite often with a cup of black tea. Mm. And this is by the brand Lamer again. 
You're so lame. <laughs> you probably, probably think, think the, the song, song is, is about. about oh, wow, yeah. look at the texture. Hmm. Mm. Interesting flavor. I like that? that. What is that flavor? It's like a. It's like floral. Mm. They're like a sort of Turkish delight in some way. Mm -hmm. I know that flavour, but I can't think of it. Kind of like a potato. <laughs> Once popular dessert. Mm. Mm. That is absolutely amazing. It's got a flavour I just wasn't expecting at all. The she didn't actually tell us what she thought what it was, did she? No, because it just says soft chocolate ball with biscuits mm. inside. But there's more than that. There's fruit squares. Yeah, really good. You know good. when mum has tutti frutti ice cream? Yeah. I wonder if it's candied peel Maybe. or something. That is amazing. It's also a bit like, you know when you make a chocolate tiffin at home? Yeah. And the chocolate, because you've combined it with oh, biscuit, like, it's all soft. Yeah. It was a bit like that, wasn't it? Because did you see the outside? Yeah. Uh, next, next up. Next we've got apricots covered in dark chocolate. Oh, is that kind of like that spongy? I didn't want to send you a big bag, so this was the only mini version I could find. So they've got, oh, I'm wondering, because it's the same, they do different kinds of fruit covered in chocolates, apples, cranberries. That is cool. That is right though. <laughs> it always just sounds like I'm saying That is who's rectum? <laughs> well, how do you actually say it? That is rectig. Uh, Rectig. Mm. Is it good? Oh, yeah. It's apricot. From the outside, always looking near. Na, na, always knocking on a window. It looks like honeycomb on the photo. Mm. No, it's not. Oh, is it literally just an apricot? An apricot. We're covered in chocolate. It's really nice. It's like um, a natural full apricot, though, mm. not like a mix. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. That's really nice. Mmm. Paulina, you are providing the snacks today. And Snacks. we're finishing with an interesting one. Mm, what's that? Toffee with what flavour? Um, black molasses. Beer flavour. This is something really is that Latvian. This? Yeah. Because beer is very popular in our country. Well, you'd do all right over mm. there, wouldn't you? When I saw toffee with beer flavour, I was so baffled. Thought I would send you some because it's weird and I wanted to know your opinion. That's it for the snacks and candies. Hope you liked at least some of them. Well, Paulina, we are liking more than some of them. Yeah, we think they're delicious. These remind me of the ones that I bought back from Brazil that time. Do you remember? Yeah, the way the they're folded. Dolce de ones. I think I'm now saying that right. Dolce de leche. On the outside, always looking in. Well, I. Because, um. Tap, tap, tap it on the glass. Wave it through a window. Ooh, it's soft. Really soft. I wonder how beery Ooh. it'll be. Oh, I think I can like smell beer. Yeah, like the the ale or something. Oh, it also does taste smell a bit like a horse treat. Mmm. Ooh. I think it does, you know. That's really nice. It's not too overpowering now. No. Because I don't like beer. Have you ever tried any Latvian beer? I don't think so. But it's interesting, isn't it? It's a beeriness, but then because the sweetness of the toffee, it's like a sweet beer. Because it doesn't make it bitter because of the sweetness. Yeah. That's really nice. That's a really nice flavour, isn't it? Maybe what they should start doing with beer glasses is dust the rim with some sugar. That like a margarita. <laughs> what is it that has sugar? Not margarita. Daiquiri. Daiquiri. Margarita has salt. I don't think I could just put it all in, like, but these little nibbles. Yeah, I think over if you have too much, it'd be way mm. overpowering, but little bits is just really nice. Having little bits, really mm. nice. Mm. That texture's really nice yeah. as well. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, that's actually really good. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm saying I like a beer, beer, coffee, bud? Coffee. Mm. Mm. Wow, Paulina, thank you so much for that epic box. That was so delicious, yeah, wasn't so it? Yeah, so good. Such a good selection. Do you have a, a favorite? Mm. It's so hard to say. I love the crisps. Oh, don't forget you love that toffee. <gasps> Speculoos. I love this toffee and the Speculoos thing. Yeah. And also these cookies. Yeah. What about you? I would say like the toffee covered in the Belgian chocolate. Mm. That beer toffee was actually really nice. Really nice. I really like these biscuits. 
Oh, and this mad milk chocolate. You can't say it all, okay. Kate. <laughs> I very much enjoyed the whole entire box. Yeah. And I would happily take a trip to Latvia. Oh, I'd love... Maybe that's something we can do at some point in the future. Yeah. Is go to Latvia and see what it's actually like there. Yeah. Because we've seen what their and food's about like. And some fresh food as well. Mm. And you can have some beers. Yeah. We want to say a big thank you to Paulina for that awesome box. That was so yeah. delicious. We did send her a British candy box back to try. If anyone else is interested in trying some British candy, we'll leave a link down below. But what an epic box that was. That was amazing. It took what we'd already seen before from that video yeah. that we really enjoyed and added like an extra Just took to another level. To it. it was so nice getting to try some more, you know, smaller companies. Yeah, and more like recent stuff, things. more yeah. modern stuff. Thank you so much for taking us on that little trip of Latvia. Absolutely loved that. And we hope you guys enjoyed watching that too. We'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.